I'm Laura Angel from Mississippi State University Extension Service in DeSoto County. Welcome to um, Sweet Mississippi Flower Bowl. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a floral arrangement for your home or to give away as a gift. And so yesterday I shared with you about floral food. And so making sure that you have floral food and that you feed your plants or your arrangements is a great um, key to success whenever you um, are trying to be successful in a floral design arrangement. And then changing it every three days is key. And so I have a quart of water and I have added a package of the floral food in here. And I'm simply going to fill my vase, which is clean, with, um, with the fresh floral food and the water. And then I'm going to begin my arrangement. And so when you're making a floral arrangement, it's a good key um, to make sure that your arrangement is in proportion to um, the vase that you're using. And so I've got a little handy dandy ruler here and it's 15 inches tall. And you wanna try to keep your arrangement one and a half times to two times the height of your vase. And so my arrangement, my vase is five inches and one and a half times to two times is, um, it could be anywhere from, so um, one and a half, one times the height would be 10 inches. Um, and then if you were trying to go one and a half, it would be like 12 and a half. And then two times the height would be um, the, the 15 inches. And so just using that ruler, we don't want to go higher than the ruler, um, but just a good rule of thumb, one and a half to two times the height of your vase. And so then you just begin with flowers. Um, these I purchased at the supermarket. It's just a basic bouquet. Um, and so we have them and I have already, before coming on live today, I've taken the flowers and I've removed the stems below the water line. And so I've left the top three inches. Um, I've left those that are around the bloom. I have left the, the leaves and the foliage um, that are three inches from the top and I've removed everything else from the bottom. And so now it's time to begin. Um, yesterday I told you to get some type of greenery and so I have some leather leaf here and so that's the greenery that I'm going to use. Just a normal bouquet doesn't have it. If you don't want to purchase leather leaf you might want to go around your yard and maybe um, pick maybe some shrub um, leaves or some different foliage that you have around or you just go with it. Um, use what you have. Um, you don't necessarily have to purchase it and you're trying to create a 45 degree angle um, with, your, um, with your knife. And just keep in mind that you can always remove, um, you can always remove the, um, more of the stem if you don't like how it looks, but you can't add it back. So it's always better and you can just play with it and just do the best that you can and have fun while you are um, arranging your arrangement. And so you might wanna get out your ruler um, and see if it's too tall um, and just kinda go with it. Um, these aren't really wanting to stay, so I'm gonna add, cut off some more. Make sure that you're, you've not got water or leaves below the water line. And I'm just cutting, like I said, at a 45 degree angle. I've linked in the description above, I've linked a publication on how to use a knife. And so you can get up there and look at that later after the live. Um, you might want to, to look at that. Like I said, just keep playing with it until you get it the way you like. And think about while you're arranging this, um, your arrangement, think about where you're going to be placing it. And so, um, so once you've got your, your greenery in place, um, it kind of creates kind of a grid that you're going to secure your flowers into. Um, and then I've got my flowers all laid out here. And I'm going to first place, these are some mums that are like painted. And so I'm gonna think about my hot. And I'm gonna place those in there. Oops, that's too high. So I'm gonna cut it again. And like I said, you're just going to have fun perhaps um, while you're doing this. Try not to overthink it. Um, a little too high. And it gets a little messy if you see. I'm just letting the stems kind of fly all over the place. 
Um, you can do that too. Just make sure you got a trash can beside you and then clean up after. Still too high. Keep in mind um, you're having fun and this is just a great thing that you can use in your house. Um, an arrangement to maybe give to a friend or a family member. Mother's Day is coming up so you might want to give it to your mom. And it's a good idea after you make the arrangement to recut the stems every um, three days and change the water every three days because what happens is there um, the, there's bacteria that starts growing in your your arrangement from you know some from the leaves and the stems and so you just want to make sure that you change the water every three days and the longevity of your flowers and your arrangement will will appreciate it. I'm just keeping filling in, kind of using kind of a crisscross pattern here with it. And if I don't like how it looks, I'm just removing it and then cutting off a little bit more. This is a great activity you can um, to do with your family. Um, it's a great thing to maybe use some fresh things that you have in your yard. I know spring's here and summer's coming up and you can use some things that you have that you're growing in your yard or your garden. You might want to think about planting some flowers and be a farmer florist, but maybe plan on planting some flowers that you can um, cut for the summer. Here's some some baby's breath that we can kind of use as a filler um, to kind of put in there. Give it some a more pop of color. I am not a professional at this. This is just something that I enjoy doing. I like fresh flowers and so this is something that I like to add to my table or my side table at home. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys today. This summer you might want to think about um, purchasing local flowers um, from the farmers market. Um, I know last summer we had about three vendors at the farmers market that sold Mississippi flowers. And so you might want to think about going and purchasing some flowers this summer from some of them, from some of our local vendors. And the last step is to add in kind of um, some spiky plants or some spiky flowers. And so that's what I'm doing last to kind of give it some interest. I'm going to I'm going to cut these. If you're a beginner and you're uncomfortable using the floral knife or just a regular knife that you have at home, um, scissors, you can also use scissors. I mentioned that yesterday in my in my demo yesterday. And so you can use scissors. What happens though with scissors, your water might become cloudy um, a little sooner because you're damaging the um, your stems a little bit more but the arrangement will still look nice. Just make sure you change your water. And you're just adding these for interest. You might want to, um, I said Mother's Day was coming up and um, we just had Easter, but whatever holiday, um, or you might find it or get it in your arrangement. You Sometimes they have picks that you can pick in things into your arrangement. And so if you wanted to, you can make a little bow. Um, and you could add that to it if you wanted to add a bow and give it as a gift. But here you go. Here's a sweet Mississippi flower bowl. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video today. Um, up in the description above, you will find a link to a publication on how to use a knife and the Sweet Mississippi Flower Bowl publication. Get out, get creative, get some flowers, and then go home and arrange them. Hope you have a great day and try making a flower bowl today. Thank you for joining. Thank you.